You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning prayer. We begin by saying in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we thank you for watching over us last night and for bringing us safely to this day. Sacred Heart of Jesus, you are worthy of all thanks and praise. Have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we offer this day to you. Fill our hearts with humbleness, compassion, mercifulness, and love. O Sacred Heart, O Lord. May our hearts be united to your Sacred Heart. Grant that we may be transformed into your image, O living bread from heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, make and humble you died on the cross for us. Yet aware of your great sacrifice, we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often closed our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins, purify our hearts, so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we do always and everywhere give you thanks and praise. For you are holy, holy, holy Lord. You are indeed the fountain of all goodness. We thank you for the immeasurable stream of mercy that pours out freely from you, our adorable heart. We rejoice at knowing that your forgiveness and compassion are constantly manifested in our life because of your unending grace. Let all who acknowledge you, King of Kings, praise you and thank you day and night. We now take this moment to bring to life, to mind, excuse me, to bring to mind the needs of the Christian church, we especially pray for our brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Syria, Egypt, Iraq, Iran, the entire Middle East region, our brothers and sisters in North Korea and China. And in many parts of the world where being a Christian is a hardship. Where they persecute you or one if they find out that he or she is a believer of Christ. And so we pray that you send your angels before our brothers and sisters, O oh Lord, to remove all obstacles out of their way and to encamp around them and to protect them from all attacks of the enemy. We pray, Lord that you touch the hearts of those who persecute your church, that in touching their hearts, they may open their eyes and see you, and upon seeing you, that they may receive you and become your followers. And Lord, we pray for all bishops, especially Archbishop Ross and Bishop Hampton, we pray for all the apostles, priests, missionaries, deacons, religious, and all people. And Heavenly Father, we pray for Peter, a man who has been disabled for 35 years from a spinal cord injury. Um, it is my understanding he is being evicted from his current subsidized apartment housing, and he does not have the funds to move into an unsubsidized apartment. If he is being evicted 
unjustly, Lord, then help him get justice and help him get reinstated into his apartment. Also, help him find an apartment, Lord. Help him find a solution to his current housing situation. And help him financially. Have mercy on him, Jesus. Have mercy on him. Lord, we also pray for Henry, who is sick. I'm not sure what the sickness is. All I know is that Henry has asked that we pray for his sickness. Downpour your Holy Spirit upon him, O Lord, and bring healing to him. Have mercy on him, Jesus. We pray for all those who have cancer, lupus, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, and any other form of addiction. Lord, we pray for Christine, who has been applying for medical school. She's sent out a few secondary applications. She's still got a couple of them to fill out, grant her the ability to uh, finish those quickly, and bless her by um, getting her some, some interviews and subsequently acceptance into medical school. Uh, she had applied to one school before, and she was unjustly uh, discriminated against and not allowed to enter for no logical reason. Um, but she took it in stride by your mercy. She was crushed at first, but she understands and believes that you have a way for her. And so we pray, Lord, that you bless her and help her. And that by your blessing and your help, she may be um, she may be um, strengthening in her faith and relationship to you. We also pray for Mofonobong, who is also in the process of applying for medical school helper. Lord, it is very competitive. It is very difficult open doors for Mofonobong that she may be able to get into medical school. We pray, Lord, for our grieving families. We pray for the homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. And Lord, we pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. And we also bring to you, Lord, the special intentions for the order of the sacred heart of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. Merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit, so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy, the gift of distinguishing between spirits, the gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues, and the gift of interpretation of tongues, all according to your will and for the glory of your holy name. Lord Christ, in your mercy, we have called us to serve. You have called us to serve us. Lord Christ, in your mercy, you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit, so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Christ Jesus, 
Many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray according to your will that you send out workers into your harvest field, that upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. King of Peace, as you ask, whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world? Here am I, send me. Look kindly upon your servants gather here today and use each of us according to your gifts as ambassadors of your holy message here in our cities and around the world. Lord God, Heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord, God Almighty, make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us that from all revival many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. And now as our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving, honoring, and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take you a sacred heart for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God, your Father, and scream me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness, annihilate in me all that can displease or resist you, imprint in me your pure love so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your heart. For in this I place all my happiness and all my glory to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. This concludes today's morning prayer. I'm glad you came, you came by our website. I'm glad that you uh, listen and that you pray with us today. And I hope you will be able to do that again. Uh, we'll still be praying today again at afternoon prayer and then evening prayer. And we do this in, on a daily basis, uh, God willing. So please continue to come by and, and pray with us. There are many people out there in need of prayer. If you know anyone in need of prayer, you can submit their prayers, whether it's for you, your friends, family, at our website at Sacred Heart Jesus. Dot org. That is sacredheartjesus.org. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later.